Okay, so let's do an exercise. Let's name three things in the comments that you can let go of right now that would serve a purpose for someone else and name something that you can bring into your life that needs to serve a purpose. I know one of the things that I need to buy off the top of my head is a new Bible. I have not purchased a Bible that has been like a really good Bible because um, the last one that I had that I did all the markings, I was 11 years old. And y'all, that thing is like dividing into five or six pieces, but I cannot let it go because now that is very sentimental to me because when I first got baptized, when um, I uh, received the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, um, that was a really big thing to me and I, those, it has a lot of notes in it. So I'm not going to be throwing that away. Um, because that still serves a purpose in my life. I still read it. And although it's like in five different pieces, but I need a new Bible. I need a really good Bible. If you have a really good Bible, I've heard that, um, I have to, a Thomason Bible. Anyway, I need one with a really good concordance because that's what I look for when um, I purchase a King James Version Bible. Um, the other thing is I need some more tees. This is a sports top, but I need to, I need to buy some more tees because I like to layer from basics. I like to start with basics and build up my wardrobe and... I also need, what do I need? Now these are necessities because this is like I've grown out of my tees and you know, things like that. What else do I need? I need a Bible. I need some tees. Oh, I need to go, this may be TMI, but I do need to go undergarment shopping. Shopping undergarment. I think that that's something that we, we talk about wardrobes and everything, but think every so you know some months out of the year we should take time out to like throw things away or and get new just bring you know do a declutter even in our undergarments because the way your undergarments are it really does make a difference on how things fit on you and I do need to do that yes okay that's three things I need to bring in my life. Three things I need to declutter out of my life is more declutter in terms of like just sweeping out my room and um, going through that. <sighs> Something else. Something else that I need to clutter. I need to keep my car decluttered and my purse decluttered of like papers and receipts. I am, I need to do better on that. So. Hi guys, y'all know I've been decluttering. Well, first of all, I hope you guys are having a great day. This is gonna be, this is a part of everyday May. I am on my way to look for gifts for Mother's Day for my mom. So, y'all know I have been decluttering, and I was just looking at one of the YouTubers that I watch who is Lisa Stevens. I love her content just because she's a mom like me and we both have a love for makeup. And she used to work for Sephora and I am a freelance makeup artist. So we have a lot of things similar and in, in common. And she currently, like I had to stop the video to like talk to you guys about this on my way to look for this because I haven't watched the entire video but the title was a thousand a thousand item declutter challenge and so first of all I think that's awesome she had to downsize from a house to an apartment which is what we've had to do in terms of downsizing and it really had me thinking that I should be keeping things in my home or whatever space that I am based upon my lifestyle and not based upon expectations or anything which you know what I'm at a place now I'm I purchase what I what I like 
and not necessarily what YouTube and you know I, I've learned YouTube should only have an influence if I allow it you know before it was like and this is just things in your life you know a lot of times in life we doesn't we want to bring something into our space or into our lives that really isn't for us at the time for instance uh, me and my husband have we're married we, this June it'll be 16 years but we didn't have a child like I mean I was constantly I was getting pregnant and you know um, lost a few children but we didn't actually have Elijah who is our uh, our firstborn son who we have with us until eight years later and uh, all I'm trying to say is that your timing is not necessarily everybody else's timing and that is also in terms of makeup in terms of things that you bring into your life you know sometimes we want the same thing that um, I know when God brought our children into our lives it was always a time that was good for us it was not you know it wasn't in the timing that everybody else was getting it and that's really been the case for me uh, pretty much all my life is that I did not get things the same time as everybody else so you know why should makeup be any different or why should beauty products be any different as a matter of fact you know beauty is a you know beauty products are a privilege Everybody doesn't get that, you know, and I think we have it as a necessity a lot of times when actually, in fact, is a privilege. Do I need it? Do I really, truly need it? No, no. There are some times where I'm like, I'm not going to wear anything. I'm going to let my skin breathe, you know. And actually, I've had better days when I go spaces without wearing makeup than constantly wearing it. Because the more you wear it, the more you have to clean your face more thorough. You have to like really get everything out of your pores. So it's more maintenance to wear a makeup, the truth of the matter. And that's even with hair products, anything. But I like it, you know. But it should not be at the expense of purchasing things because other people have it. And that's what I think we have learned. That's, that's one of the things that we all should learn. But one of the things that I am learning as an individual is that it is okay for me to purchase items in a different time as, than YouTube. You know, if some things coincide, okay, it's going to happen. You know, I have a, I have, I admire makeup. I love it. Uh, will it rule my life? You know, I have to keep it in check. You know, I have to keep in check that things do not control my life because it's just like, okay, it's just like bills. Bills can control your life if you don't control them, meaning that, like, it's my responsibility to do some adulting, pay my bills off. You know, and you know what? I was watching a video. If you cannot afford it, I'm talking to myself too. I'm, I'm not preaching to the choir. I'm preaching to myself too. If I can't afford it, I should not get it. I should not get it. There's some other things that are gr of a greater priority. I know I just did a luxury haul, y'all, but I'm telling you, I go for the deals. I do not have to be popular and pay full price i don't know who made up that rule but i like i like coupons i like cutting corners <laughs> in terms of when i say cutting corners not stealing or cheating okay i'm talking about i like really nice things but not having to pay retail price for it because in actuality it's highly marked up anyway so even when it's on sale they're making money okay that's just the truth of the matter is but anyway i was thinking about you know when is the best time to declutter whenever it needs to happen 
I know we go through these seasons of decluttering, but lately what has been happening to me, decluttering has been kind of like a shedding of some sort, which meaning that, you know, you guys have been saying uh, it's a series, but really it's been when I have felt the need to do so. So like decluttering those 47 primers, I still, I was writing down, I was like, you know what, really, I need to only have about, mm, about eight in my life and that's still a lot but I was like out of those 47 primers which I don't do not need you know there's I'm, I'm I you know what I'm going to do blushes again like I'm noticing like I did my bronzers again the video that I did not too long ago it was decluttering my bronzers again I did a declutter off camera and then I went back and I think I'm going to do the same thing with blushes Palette, I need to get myself mentally ready for because it's almost like I have to watch other declutter videos to really realize, you know, I think once I, there's a video that I want to do with really great everyday palettes. And once I've done that video and I really have to commit myself, I, I need to put a date to it. I'm going to release some because I don't need an everyday, I don't need seven everyday palettes. Okay. That's just the truth. I think I'm going to pick my top three and the other ones I'm going to let go because someone else can be appreciating the privilege of beauty. You know what I mean? I, I guess that's just my thought process because I'm a giver, but I don't know. Um, I'll share my story, I think, a little bit later about accumulating things because I feel like that that mind space can be unhealthy, especially if it does not serve a purpose. And I'm not talking about just calm Mari because I've never read the book. I've heard a lot of the concept. But if it does not, you know, if something, if you bought something from the drugstore, oh, I bought this and it was $9.99. Do you use it? If you do, do not, you just threw. And this is what constantly gets me when it comes to like makeup, when it comes to beauty products. If it comes to anything in your life, if I bought a pair of shoes and they say stay store I'm sorry and they and they stay stored up in the closet just say they cost a hundred dollars I just think I have taken five twenty dollar bills and I have thrown them out the window and whenever I think of that concept I'm like oh my goodness what have I done so I want to make sure, I don't care if it's a t-shirt that I have five different colors of. If I love that shirt, if I love the type of style, I'd rather do that than to buy one shirt that costs a lot of money. Or even if it was $5. If I have no use for it, I just threw $5 out the door. Everything in my life needs to serve a purpose. And everything that I do needs to have a reason why I do it not because of someone else I hope that makes sense I know this became a whole different talk but I think I'm gonna end the vlog right there I think that this was a good conversation to have during everyday May even while decluttering bringing things into my life every single thing that I purchase every single thing that I let go needs to have a purpose for my for me or needs to be passed on so it can be purposeful to someone else Comment down below, let me know what you think about that. Yeah, comment down below, let me know what you need to declutter and what you want to bring in your life that's purposeful. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another day, May. Every day, May. Yeah, I'll see you in another every day, May. Bye, guys.